Nuno, it's been an incredible three seasons at Wolves. How do you feel about the next three? I feel good. I feel good. Um, ready for it. Uh, looking forward, forward for it. Uh, working <coughs> really hard for it because it's a new cycle. Um, no matter what uh, what you did before, it's all about what what is in front of us. And um, this is what what we think we should do. Let's prepare it well, and let's challenging and and doing the way we do things, fighting for it. We're saying hello to new faces and, and goodbye to old friends. Is this the evolution that we need to go through to, to compete? Is, are we moving into a new cycle? No, it's, a, it's something normal in football. It's nothing that um, happens. It happens all the seasons. It happened since we arrived from the championship. Uh, the players that started with us, Danny Baff was, was the captain of, of the club. He was, he was with us in the in the beginning. We don't we don't forget about all the people involved um, in these three seasons of of hard work, success, and especially the fans. The way the fans have enjoyed it. So um, a lot of people have, have have been, and a lot of people have come in. So um, things have changed. I think uh, um, the team has has evolved, has has grown the squad. So it's normal. And after that, it's um, situations that happen in football. Uh, players that that go to different clubs because they they need to. Some of them want to, but there are some people that um, that they are never be forgotten. And uh, when new players come in, it's um, it's the expectation of of trying to to help those players become better so they can help the team and and grow. Uh, as a team, because the, cl the club is growing, the project um, is is moving forward step by step. But each day, you, with the same ambition of of becoming a big, big club. Um, but now, for example, if um, our players go to to big, big clubs in in the Premier League, it's a sign that they have been working good and. And hard, so they are look at options to to become uh, players of top six teams. So, but let's look, look at us. And what we know is that uh, what we did in the past can only show us the way to the future, like a pack. How much does the fans' enthusiasm and love for the club make your decision to stay here an easy one? It's all about the fans. It's all about the fans since day one. Since day one, um, I still recall the first. Uh, I think the first contact that we had clearly with the fans was uh, in the pre-season of championship in Austria, and I was asking myself, "We are so far away from home, and there are still people here." So that showed the love that the fans have for the club, and uh, and the help that they give us was was huge. And it's it's all about them. It's all about them. We miss them. Now during the pandemic, it's very, it's been very hard for for us as, as a squad, the players, the bonds that that we created, and in such such long uh, season that we had, and so memorable games that we we shared together, that we really miss them. And uh, I think the best way to to be fair to them is that say uh, we'll be here, so when they return, we can stay and. Um, and enjoy again together. So this is the best thing that it's easy to decide because we, as a, a coaching staff, we want to we want to to enjoy. We want to to make things happen. Just helping uh, the players to become better. So the fans really be proud, uh, being a Wolf fan, and enjoy their players and and create these bonds again. But. We miss the fans. They will be together again. Okay. How much praise do you do you give to those around you, the people that you work with every day? Because this this isn't just about you, is it? Never. It was never about me. Never. It is not like this in my life. So it's not like this in in the way we work. It's about us. It's about we. 
there are many, many faces that you don't know, fans don't know, that work really, really hard. So uh, it's about an older club. We have to not, not separate what's happening. Uh, the, the team and the, the squad and the way we play and, and the game and the match, this is one thing. But behind the scenes, that's, that's a lot of people in the club that, that really helped, really helped. And uh, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's our identity now. It's the way we operate as a club. We, we are like a small family that everybody feels comfortable to each other, knowing their roles, their responsibilities. And, uh, and the standards are very high, very, very high. So we will keep these standards uh, so we can, can, can proceed. Every, every statement, every uh, employee from the club has responsibilities to help and make things right. How far do you think that you and, and your staff can, can take the club? What are the realistic ambitions for Wolves now? Now to play better. The next game it's coming just around the corner and uh, if, if this message is for our fans they know me uh, it's a day-by-day -day process it's, um, it's a commitment that you make yourself to to each day have a chance to to help to do something good so how far tomorrow tomorrow is how far we want to reach be better than, than yesterday and the next day and the next day. We'll see, we'll see. But um, in terms of, of how we want to do things, we want to play better. How we can do things? Working very hard like we do. Working very hard and dedicated every moment to give the best of this, each one of us. The best of each one of us every moment. Thank you. Okay.